Welcome back everyone to Onboard Tangaroa. So where were we? Oh yeah, last week we actually went back into the water and we floated. Not like the week before. Remember that? Like we had three through holes that were leaking. Well, Blaine fixed it. I helped. You can tell by my hands because I still don't have the Sikaflex or the 5200 off. But yeah, we floated and we headed back to our mooring just in time for a massive, and I mean a huge massive windstorm. Have you ever wanted to just change your life? We did. We're the Carmina family and we felt we were wasting our lives and we desperately needed a change. So we bought and moved on to an old 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a complete refit. Join us as we refit Tangrera while exploring the world around us one island at a time. Right now it's just a calm before the storm. So it is Wednesday. We got out of the yard like two days ago and we have a storm coming in. And we're going to stay on our mooring. Um, I just went into Todd Inlet. There's a bunch of people on Todd Inlet, but let me show you what it's like right now. So the wind is picking up out there. You can see the white caps out there. Beautiful rainbow though, eh? But those white caps, that wind is supposed to clock around and it's going to nail us. So I am just going to sit here. Uh, watch the boat and take care of Maggie. Um, our chairs were already blowing off the aft deck, so I put them all down. I'll probably put the television down because it is totally not safe. But no one's dragging yet, which is good. And I'm just staying in here nice and cozy. Let me show you what's happening out here. Ooh. Maggie, you want to come out? Boats are moving over there. Wind is coming through. Oh, another big gust. White caps coming out of Todd Inlet. Sorry, camera's getting blown around a bit here. Burr. Burr. And this is the end of May. Oh, poor Maggie. Can you see her legs shaking? Maggie, you want to go back on the couch? I know. Let's go. Holy cow. Now, first of all, I'm sorry, I'm going to interrupt a little bit and I want to say welcome to our new Patreon to Onboard Tangroa. I hope you got that personalized video that Blaine and I made for you. But anyways, welcome. And if you want to be a patron, head to onboardtangroa.com. Check it out. There's lots of cool swag. Um, our new patron is now entered into our draw, which every 10 patrons, we do a draw. The first one's going to be a gift pack of Rock Coast chocolate, which is our favorite chocolate here in Canada made by a local lady. And you also get entered into the Tangro Rewards program. But if you want to know more about that, head to onboardtangro.com. See you there. that much Woo, falling. ouch I just fell down videoing ow fudge that hurts that's what happens when you back up and you don't look what's behind you ouch I feel like maybe I should have a life jacket on you <laughs> windstorm was extremely uncomfortable like I'm okay with a rocking boat but 
I was not happy. Maggie was not happy. Izzy was not happy. None of us were happy. And you know what they say when mama ain't happy? She goes to the pub, which was actually very fortuitous because Izzy had to work anyways. So I took Izzy to work and I stayed, had a couple pints of cider and just waited until the windstorm was gonna let up. However, before the windstorm let up, <laughs> the power went off in the pub. So that kind of, uh, yeah. I asked the bartender, I'm like, can't you just still pour cider? He's like, sure, but safety reasons, we can't let you stay in the pub and, you know, without electricity. So Izzy was let off work and we headed back to the boat. So we just had, well, Izzy went to work and I went to happy hour just to get off the boat and we couldn't leave Maggie on the boat. So I was meeting a friend for happy hour and we put Maggie there, but check this out. Wowzers. I'm coming, Izzy. <laughs> Look at the waves coming in here. We're going to get wet. This is insane. Tell you how much our dog does not like waves rocking. <laughs> this is what she does when their boat really starts to rock with the waves. She is not happy. <laughs> what do you think? Poor oh, poor She's Meg. Quite the backrest. She does not like this. <laughs> she loves living on the boat, but does not like when it's rocking like this. And it is rocking like crazy right now. yesterday and now it's extremely low tide so you got one boat on the beach here remember that massive windstorm that we had like it's friday so wednesday um, we were at a pub power went out the boat was rocking all over the place i think i got video well, i'm walking todd inlet right now which taking maggie on her morning pee and check this out there's a tree down right across the path and i've already been walking around a heck of a lot of branches so but yeah, we have to. Oh, there's another big one down there. Okay, Maggie, I think this is what happens when we've had so much rain and the water and the ground is like wet, wet, wet. So the roots are loose and then we get a windstorm. Oh, but this isn't usually here. Must have been crazy in here when this was coming down, but check it out. Like it just snapped. Yeah, that's a big tree down, and there's lots of debris everywhere. It was definitely a crazy windstorm. I didn't realize it was so bad on land because, again, you're on a boat, you're only worried about the waves and the wind and the boat turning sideways to the wind and getting blown around crazy, but then you see what's happened on land, you're like, wow. 
So, Mother Nature at its best. You know what's really hard to describe? is the two different smells. It's the smell of land. And there's definitely a smell, like around here, there's blossoms and moist and moss. It's like moist, it's a weird word. But there's two different smells. And then when we're on the boat, it's a totally different smell. No wonder Daisy, when we had her, was going absolutely crazy. She was just smell over... Loaded. Overwhelmed, but yeah, here it's just two different smells. The smell of land and the smell of sea. And if you ever do an ocean crossing, you actually smell land about a day out. You can know you're getting closer. And it's just how sensitive your senses become and your sense of smell. But there's definitely two different smells. Hmm. Wasn't that windstorm crazy? Like, I think it's the biggest windstorm I've been in on Tangaroa. Not on boats in general, but on Tangaroa. Like, it takes a little bit to get this boat rocking, and we were a rockin'. And it was really uncomfortable. Um, I do want to clarify, when we went to the pub, because Josh was working also, he had the car there. So we took Maggie and we put her in the car where she was extremely happy to sit and have a nap. So I do want to clarify that, that yes, we had Maggie with us, and we just put her into the car while we were at the pub. So, windstorm is over, and then guess what? It was back to boat work. So today is all about teak. It is teak day! Teak, 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 teak day! Yeah, teak day. It is our first sunny day, so today is teak day. So this has been really bothering me, is um, these boards were joined together, but there was no sick of flex in between. It was just a hard join, and it was always breaking. So, I just made some gouges using a fine tool, and I'm just gonna put some Sikaflex in. I'm also filling holes like this, plugging holes. So that's my job today. I'm just going to do a little bit of patching on the rail, and then I'm gonna work on that other part of the deck. These are the sea lions just coming right in. Look at them all. Coming right past the boat. They're so cool. I wish I, can, I hope you guys can hear these. Seals don't do this. This is just sea lions. This is how they come in. It's almost like do like dolphins or like the killer whales when they come in. It's very similar. Then we're worried if we fall off the boat, we can't get back on. Yeah. But this boat is pretty much made for old people. Like us. If you want to know what Blaine is doing, we are getting the starboard rail up. Like, off. So he's just cutting it all apart. It's about to come off. Um, and then we've got to get the teak separated. We've got a guy that can do that. I've just got to do a midnight run with these two things because they're going to be too big for our truck. So I think a midnight run where there's no cops around, that might be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going to 
Okay. Are you ready? You're going to, uh, you should be able to use that line that you have there to kind of do that with, to try to separate this. I'm hoping I haven't missed any. Uh, I think I you missed one. Keep trying that. Maybe you try to lift straight up rather than uh, bending. Uh, actually, that's not going to work. We're going to have to lift straight up. Okay. Uh, cause there's a, How about uh, outwards? Stand by. No, don't go out. And just to let you know, Blaine and I are not the perfect couple. We tend to argue sometimes, like in this instance. Jeez, that's stuck good. Okay, go ahead and set that back down. Why? Well, I almost have it. It's coming up more. No, it's because you're going to damage this. No, end. it's not. Look, Don't. it's up. It is not. Yes, up. it is. It's Put off. Put it down. I can't. It's off. It is not off. I felt it come off the bolt. It's there. It's not here. Oh. Man, you don't listen to me. There we go. Yeah, good. Okay, go ahead and come up with that one now. I'm gonna fall overboard. Don't fall overboard. What are we hung up on here? I don't get it. <laughs> that was a woo! Hi! I didn't go overboard. That's good. Um, I just don't know what it's sticking on right now. It's like it's got a, oh, there it is. What? Uh, it's. Let me wait. Nothing. You just. There we go. Okay. So let's just pull it in, lay it down just like that. Okay. Good job, Lane. Woo! Ah. We did it! One railing off! Woohoo! Alright, okay. I'll let you get by. Thanks, that. It doesn't have all the divots. That's all that gunk. That's all the, the corroded aluminum that came from the back side of this rail. Lift it up, let's see. That's all corroded aluminum. Yep. Pretty wild stuff. Get out of the sun. That's pretty wild stuff, all the corroded aluminum. Yeah. And sawdust. I don't think there's a lot of sawdust in that. I think that's just corroded. <laughs> Izzy did some baking yesterday, and this is what she made. What is it called, Izz? <laughs> that's what it's called? <laughs> it is almond milk, regular milk, sugar, and gelatin. And she's made... Uh, what did you call it? Tofu? That'd be a sweet tofu. I don't know. It's um, it's interesting. It's something. It's it's that's exactly it. It's something. You want to try it, Mom? Not till you do. Alright. <laughs> and it's pretty good. You're not as impressed as you thought you would be. No, it's pretty good. I like it. It actually reminds me of bobo balls, but in rectangle. You want to try it, Bob? <laughs> Take the tiny piece. <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of flavor. There's a little sweetness. You want to try some, Bob? Hey, give me some. You're gonna get like it's not bad. A little thin piece. <laughs> a little thin piece. <laughs> but I didn't get like the jello. The flavor slowly comes in. I could fuck it up. <laughs> Actually I really like it. I know, right? It's kinda like a flan. It's kinda like a flan. Yeah. You're not gonna eat all of that for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, what time it is. It is time to insert the caulk, caulk into the cracks. Uh, this doesn't even sound good. Let me show you. So this is all prepped up. I've got all the wood prepped, all the caulking out. I've got some tape and I taped the deep cracks. If not, I'm just going to sand the heck out of it. Um, so anywhere there was a deep gouge in the teak, I've taped across that because I don't want to get caulk stuck in there. And I've already used alcohol and a paintbrush to clean everything out. And now it's time to lay it on.
Okay, so my back is killing me, but check it out. So that part of the deck is caulked. And I'm doing the joints. Just taking the tape off. Thought those look so much better. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, this one's a big one. <laughs> so the good things about getting the crane working is I can clean the bottom of the tender. But the dog just hopped in there, <laughs> even though she got told multiple times, no. <laughs> Stay in there. You guys want to see a dirty tender? Let me show you. Ew, bling. Ew. Ew. Lots of barnacles. See the stuff? Get out of here. Now, some of you may judge that our tender was really dirty. It was, but we had no way of lifting it until we just fixed the crane. Um, judge away, yeah. Um, they're in the water all the time. There are cars. That's what they do. So our crane just got fixed last weekend. So we're just pulling it out right now. See Blaine is scraping the motor. And Durba is clean as we're going to get her right now. Pretty niche, but it looks good. I said jump, jump, jump. or a non-teak deck, an aluminum deck is? Oh, well, I imagine teak is the same, but it is nice and warm. So the heat is going right through, like if you got a sore back, mm, so it's gonna right be awesome. So I have a sore back too, so let's see this. Oh, I just burnt my ass when my t-shirt came up. Ouch. <laughs> oh my God, is this nice. Watch that ass crack. <laughs> oh, you're right, Blaine. It feels great, doesn't it? Oh. This is like having a big heating pad on. Oh. Not bad. Now you have to understand on a boat like Tangaroa, the bolt work never ends, right? Like we are in the middle of a massive refit. As you can tell, we're just putting on railings now, but that's gonna be in a future episode. However, the bolt work never ends. But to kind of keep our sanity, we try to have a little bit of fun. So it's a gorgeous evening tonight and I'm fishing. I really do like fishing. My dad uh, taught me how to fish Lake Superior, Lake Nipigon. He used to take us up on Father's Day weekend and my sister and I had to pretend we were boys. Don't ask. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful night out. So I thought, heck, let's throw the rod over. See what we can get. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes What a fish! Oh, it's the angler on the bow I'm sitting here drinking wine, actually pork what do you think I caught? A shoe. You know what I put on it? Steak. Steak? <laughs> a crab. You think so? Come on, fishy. Coming up from the deep. Come on! <laughs> Look at the bend in that pole. Oh, that's that's aggressive. He's taking the fish off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's here. It looks, it looks rock fish. Oh, look at this place. It's a rock fish. Just 
spines. Watch the spines. He likes the steak. Oh, lovely steak. Actually, you could probably eat that one for breakfast. Yeah, look at that. What do you think? Sure. Huh? Breakfast? Nice, nice fish. That is a good size rockfish. Fish yeah, for breakfast. Let's do it. Okay. Breakfast. Good, good job. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> is it catch and release time? Yes. Or should we save the fish? His name is Jimmy now? Yes. Are we throwing the fish back? Yes. It's not breakfast? Stop letting him die! I'm not letting him die. Careful the spines. Don't. Izzy says it is catch and release time. Yes? Okay. Bye bye. Jimmy. What's his name? Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Wow. He's still alive. He swam away. Bye.